Washington, top House Republicans said Tuesday they were exploring changes to their tax plan that would lower tax bills for Oregonians and others who pay high state income taxes, including by allowing Americans to deduct some state income tax payments from what they owe in federal taxes. House Ways and Means Chairman Kevin Brady, R. Texas, told reporters Tuesday that tax writers are looking at a number of ways to give relief to residents of high-tax states. One would involve opening up the property tax deduction, capped at $10,000, to state and local income and perhaps sales taxes. Others would involve expanding eligibility for the child tax credit to more affluent households or simply rearranging the individual tax brackets so taxpayers pay lower rates. But making any of those work within the larger plan could be difficult. Brady said all of the options cost significant amounts of revenue, and the overall plan cannot cost more than $1.5 trillion over the coming decade. It's got a pretty big figure to it, he said of the potential expanded deduction. GOP tax overhaul could hit middle-class Oregonians, raise state taxes. House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy, R. California, said that he, too, favored expanding state and local tax deductibility, and also said he hoped the House bill's limit on the deductibility of mortgage interest would be raised. The House bill excludes deductions of interest on loans larger than $500,000, the Senate bill keeps the current $1 million threshold intact. McCarthy also said he was looking at provisions that could help victims of disasters such as the wildfires that have hit California in recent months, including a deduction for property losses. There's a lot of things that Californians are working on, he said. The negotiations took place as House and Senate Republicans prepared for a conference committee that would meld the tax bills passed separately by each chamber into a final conference report. That legislation would then have to be passed by the House and the Senate before being sent to President Trump for his signature. The aim is to complete that process before Christmas. At the White House, Trump offered his own explanation of the process that's underway. I call it the mixer, he said. It's a conference where everyone comes together, they pick all the good things and get rid of the things they don't like. Rep. Devin Nunes, R. California, a senior Ways and Means Committee member who is also serving on the conference committee, said he did not believe that the state and local tax deduction, known as SALT, needed to be addressed in the final bill, but said he would be open to discussions. It's not really necessary, he said. There's ways we can tweak it to make it better. But this whole SALT issue is a red herring unless you're looking for tax breaks for really, really rich people. He said his Golden State colleagues were listening to the mainstream media, who continue to perpetuate a rumor, which is that somehow people aren't getting tax breaks when it only gets better for the people of California, not worse. Rep.